Now, question 25 says, evaluate 3a minus b over 5c. Now, we want to evaluate this. Now, remember it says a is 2, b is 11, and c is half. So, we're going to say um, 3a minus b. Let's do that. This will be 3 times 2 um, minus 11. This will be 6 minus 11. And that will give us um, um, 6 minus 11 will give us minus 5. Then to evaluate our 5c, let's do the denominator. 5c is equal to, um, that's 5 times half, which is 5 over 2. Now remember it says, 3a minus b over 5c. So this would be minus 5 divided by 5 over 2. This is the same thing as minus 5 divided by 5 over 2, which is the same thing as minus 5 times 2 over 5. 5 is going to cancel 5. So we have minus 1 times 2, and our final answer will be minus 2. So as easy as that, and our correct answer here is going to be c. So we're going to circle c. Okay? So that will take us to question 26. Express x in terms of a, b, and c if a over x plus b is equal to c. Another way to define this question, they are telling you make x the subject of the formula. So nobody taught you express x in this, but in your um, junior secondary, you were taught how to make x the subject of the formula. So this question is just telling you make x the subject of the formula. So what I will do is, if I'm asked to make x the subject of the formula, I'm going to make sure x is going to be on one side. So I'll collect like terms. a over x um, is equal to c minus b. That's the first thing I'll do. Okay? So at this point, I can put over 1 here, and I can cross multiply. So I can say a times 1 is equal to... Um, c minus b all times x so this is the same thing as a is equal to c minus b all multiplied by x now divide both sides to remove c minus b i'll say divide both sides by and then you can guess it that's c minus b so we have a over c minus b is equal to c minus b all into x all over c minus b now c minus b will cancel c minus b we now have our x to be a over c minus b so what's our correct answer so i think our final answer it's um b so b is the correct answer so i'm going to circle my b so whenever you hear express always know it's make the subject of the formula okay so question 27 says Solve the inequality 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 4x minus 1. Okay, so um, 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 4x minus 1. Now, to solve this question, I'm going to collect like terms. I'll say 2x minus 4x is greater than or equal to minus 1 uh, plus 3 going over will become minus 3. So, this would be um, minus 2x is greater than or equal to minus 4. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by minus 2. So, this would be um, minus 2x over minus 2. Now, remember, whenever you're dividing by minus, your sign will change. You have to note that. So, this is minus 4 over minus 2. So, the minus 2 will cancel the minus 2. Then, you now have your x it's less than or equal to minus 2. Minus will cancel minus 4 divided by 2 will be 2. So our final answer here is going to be C. So I'm going to circle my C. Okay, so now I'll take us to question 28, which says solve the inequality and represent it on a number line. Okay, so let's solve it first. So we have um, 2x plus 6 is less than 5x minus 3. The first thing we'll do is open the bracket. So this would be 2x plus 6 is less than 5 times x will give us 5x. 5 times 3 will give us um, 15. Okay? Now, the next thing is collect like times. 2x minus 5x. 5x is less than 
minus 15 plus 6 coming over will become minus 6. Yes. So 2x minus 5x will give us a minus 3x is less than minus 15 mi minus 6 will give us minus 21. Now you need to divide both sides by what? Minus 3. So minus 3x over minus 3. Now remember you're dividing with minus again, your sign changes. So this will now be minus 21 over minus 3. So minus 3 cancel minus 3. X will be our minus will cancel minus 21 divided by 7 and 3 will give us um, 7. Okay, so X is greater than 7. Now to draw this on your number line, to draw this on your number line, okay, let's put it this way. So I want to draw it first before I show you what the, uh, we get the answer. So um, this is going to be your zero. Remember your positive numbers are always 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here is going to be minus 1, minus 2, and so on. Now, it says 7. So I will mount my circle on 7. Because there is no greater than or equal um, um, equal to sign, so I'm not going to shade this place. So it says x must be numbers greater than 7. So I'll draw my arrow from here. So when looking at that, that means if I'm to level, here will be 8 and here will be 9 and so on. Now look at this diagram. Which one represents it? Yes, uh, it's um, C. C is the correct one. Um, no, 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 no. It's not C because this is 7, this is an 8. So let's look again. D is the correct one. Look at it. This circle was not shaded. Now, X are numbers. X can be 7.1, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So the correct answer here is D. D is the correct option. So, but this is the best way to represent your number line. Your positive numbers are always on your left. Your negative numbers are always on your right. So the way um, this number was represented here is not just how to represent um, number line. So the correct answer here is um, D. Okay, so that takes us to question um, 29, which says, make R the subject of the formula. Another way to say it is express R. Remember when we solve the subject of the formula question? So they are likely questions. So to have pi r squared is equal to v r squared. Remember, we're making r the subject of the formula. So what are we going to do to eliminate v? We say divide both sides by v. So it's going to be pi r squared over v is equal to v r squared over v. v is going to cancel v. We now have um, r squared will be pi r squared over v. Now, to eliminate the r, we'll say take square root of both sides. Now, square root of r squared is equal to square root pi r squared over v. Now, let me show you something. 2 squared is going to give us what? 4. Square root of 4 is going to give us 2. That means when you do 2 squared, to give you 4, you do square root of 4, it brings it back to 2. So any number square and you perform the square root, it gives you back that number. Which means if you do square root of a square, you're going to get what? a. So when you do square root of r square, you're getting back your r, which is what the question says we should do. We should find r. So now, we now have r will be square root of pi r square over v. Now look. When you have square root of arrow square, arrow will now be, this r cannot come out because, remember when we say square root of a square will give us a. So r comes out, which will now be square root of, we now have square root of pi over v. This is your pi. So let's look at our options. Our correct answer here, it's going to be um, c. c is the correct answer. Hello everybody, this is Ink Tutors. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos and more updates from us. Okay, question um, 30 says, solve x plus y is equal to 2 and x minus y is equal to 1. 
simultaneously. Now, this is a simultaneous equation, so I would prefer we use the elimination method to solve this. Now, let's do equation equation 2 um, plus 1. Okay, so equation 2 plus 1 or 1 plus 2. So, we're going to add the two equations. Now, this plus this is going to give us a 2x. This plus this, y plus minus y is going to give us 0. So, then 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3. Therefore, our x is going to be 3 over 2, which is one whole number, 1 over 2. So, now, if let's find our y um, from x minus y is equal to 1. And remember, our x is what? 3 over 2. So, let's put x as 3 over 2 minus y is equal to 1. Okay? So, collect like terms 3 over 2. 1 coming over will be minus 1 is equal to y. Now, let's do our LCM. So, this will be 2. 2 into 2 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3 minus 2 into 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. It's equal to y. Therefore, um, 3 minus 2 will give us 1 over 2 is equal to y. So, our x is 3 over 2 or 1 and a half and our y is half. So, let's look at it. Um, x, 3 over 2 and y half. So, the correct answer here is um, e. e is the correct answer. So, we're going to circle our e. Now, that will take us to question number 31, which says, um, find the coefficient of x in the expansion. Now, um, Coefficient of x, we're going to expand this first before we can get the coefficient of x. And I'm going to show you something that will interest you. Now, x times x will give us an x squared. Um, x times 1 is x. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times plus 1, it's, um, it's a minus 2. So this is going to be x squared minus x minus 2x will give us minus 3x and um, that's minus 3x okay um, sorry let's check this x times x is x squared x times plus 1 is plus x not not minus x so minus 2 times x is minus 2x so that means this is going to give us um, this is going to give us x squared x minus 2x will give us a minus x then minus 2 now i want to show you the coefficient now the coefficient of x squared is what one now why because you cannot write one x squared i want to teach you something a bit different from what the question asks then the coefficient of x which was what we were asked is what so many people are going to say it's 1, but no, it's actually minus 1. Because instead of writing, the way we're supposed to represent this, instead of it should be minus 1x. But because we don't put 1 when there is a letter, we just write it as minus x. So the coefficient of, the coefficient of x is actually minus 1. So our final answer here is b. It's b. So you need to understand what is the coefficient of x squared, and what is the coefficient of x? So the coefficient of x is minus 1. So you need to understand this because the questions can come in several formats. Okay? So that will take us to question number 32. We say solve the simultaneous equation. So we get another simultaneous equation again. x plus 2y is 4. And we have um, x plus 3y is 5. And it says, hence, evaluate x minus y. So from um, equation, let me call this equation 1 and I'll call this equation 2. I'll say from equation 1, I'll say from equation 1, I'll say x is equal to 4, 4 minus 2y. I'll now call this equation 3. I'll now say put equation, okay, this is actually substitution method. And I hope you're comfortable with it. Or if you want us to use um, elimination method, we can also use elimination method because we have the coefficient of x to be equal. And I think um, since we're already using substitution, because we use elimination in the first method, so let's apply substitution here. 
So put equation 3 in 2. So I will now write my equation 2, which is x plus 3y is equal to 5. So anywhere I see x, I'm going to put 4 minus 2y. So instead of writing x, I'll say 4 minus 2y minus 3y is equal to 5. Now this will give me 4 minus 2y plus 3y is going to give me a plus y is equal to 5. Collecting like terms, y will be 5 minus 4, which is 1. So that's our y. Then x says 4 minus 2y. Remember our equation 3. So that means x is equal to 4 minus 2 times 1. x is equal to 4 minus 2, which is 2. So remember, it says we should perform x minus y. And our x minus y is the same thing as 2 minus 1, which is 1. So our correct answer here is A. So A is our final answer.